proud of? I'd have to say that I'm most proud of myself for pursuing this after taking the amount of time off that I did and doing it all on my own time and all on my own money and, and my own motivation. Um, what am I most proud of? Being here with my family and showing my granddaughter that it's, um, it's never too late to pursue your education. Being able to do my co-op, study abroad, and graduate and just have one extra semester on top of that. And uh, that really just threw me into a learning environment, which helped me complete my, my studies in that last year to get all my courses done in order to complete my degree. Working, probably the fact that I did it while working full time. Yeah, I would not be graduating right now if I didn't do open learning. Stay focused, make yourself a timeline, and ensure that you stick to the timeline because there's nobody else who's going to give you rules and there's nobody else who's going to ensure that you're getting anything done. Okay. You know, it was a lot of weekends on the couch studying, but it was all worth it in the end and I have to pat myself on the back for choosing this program. I did a year abroad and then a year from September to August of co-op. And so going from September to August, I was able to go full-time school online. And I decided at uh, 52, it was, uh, a couple of years ago, it was time to go back and um, pursue my teaching program and my degree. <laughs> um, networking with people in your online courses, because you can sometimes find people that are local in your area. So I was able to have a study group with another student, so it makes it a little bit easier, so it's not entirely online based. Um, so I just want to thank the TRU program for funding um, such a great administration team. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>